A coalition of 50 civil society organizations has called on the federal government to initiate the prompt rescue of abducted citizens in the Kaduna Abuja train attack. One of the conveners of the group, the executive director Global Rights, called on government to take urgent and deliberate action. We call on the government to take urgent and deliberate actions to live up to its constitutional duty of ensuring the security and welfare of all Nigerians, to review the nation's security architecture and be more proactive in building the capacity of intelligence agencies to be humane in its actions as mandated in Section 17.2c of our Constitution, to account for the abducted, the missing, and the dead in the Abuja Kaduna rail bombing, to take immediate action to rescue all abducted persons in that incident and in incidents across the country, to conduct an independent inquiry into the immediate and remote circumstances that enable the successful bombing of the train. Another convener and executive director of the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, Sislak, said the call was necessary in the face of escalating attacks and killings in different parts of the country. Most recently, in the first month, being the bombing of the Abuja Kaduna train and Gidan train station the brazen attack on Kaduna Airport, the takeover of Kaduna Abuja Express Road by terrorist groups, the siege on the nine communities in your local government area, Kaduna State, which resulted in the loss of over 100 lives, was an unspecified number of persons abducted from their homes during that invasion. The increased attack in the southeastern Nigeria in particular, Imo State. The attack on Imo look, uh, South local government of Anambara State and the burning of the local government secretariat. The escalation of gang war in Lagos and Ogun State. The killing of over 65 persons in KB State. The attack on Kwali Area Council of Abuja and the abduction of a traditional ruler. The list appears endless. Mr. Bando Sasa, Executive Director of the African Center for Leadership, Strategy and Development, said in spite of all the security challenges, citizens welding arms was not the best option. I'm not of the opinion that citizens should bear arms. The need to go back and ensure that we take issues of state policing forward cannot be overemphasized. So my call really is that state police is a necessity now in Nigeria. And moreover, government should treat the issue of security at the moment with an emergency. He restated the need for state police.